Hello and welcome back to our channel. Today, we are going to focus on inventory management, specifically goods movement. In our previous video, we learned a type of goods movement called goods issue, which we issued goods from a warehouse to a user department. In today's lesson, our focus is transfer posting, which is a movement of goods from one story location to another story location within the same plant or movement of stocks between two plants. This we do by clicking on the post goods movement tab. Now you might be asking yourself, what is a plant? In SAP, a plant is an independent fiscal location and it can be an operational unit, manufacturing unit, or even a distribution unit of an organization. From the inventory management point of view, a plant can be defined as a location that holds valuated stock. And within the plant is a story location, which is a subdivision of the plant where the stocks are physically stored and maintained within the plant. Now, on our goods movement screen, you can see that there are various types of goods movements. But like I said, our focus will be transfer posting. Now to transfer material from one story location to another story location within the same plant, we have to specify the material. We do this by entering the material number which brings up the material. But if you don't know the material number, you can click on the finder and it helps you find your material based on parameters. Then we go ahead to input the plants that we'll be moving the material from. So we put in our plant. And then we specify the story location from which we will be moving the material. Then we move on to our destination plant. In this case, you are moving the item within the same plant, but to a different story location. So we specify our plant again. And then we specify our storage location. Then we can input the quantity of material or the quantity of goods that we are moving from one story location to the other. So we put the quantity and then push enter. So you can see that all the details have been populated on our screen. We can see our material, we can see our plants and story location that we are moving the material from, and also our destination, plant, and storage location. After checking and making sure that all the information is correct and accurate, we can click on post. Now we have successfully transferred our material from one story location to another story location within the same plant. Kindly subscribe to our channel and come back for more. In our next video, we will be looking at how to move goods from one plant to another plant. Thank you.